everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I organize our homeschool desk and also I'm going to quickly go through my teacher planner with you so that way uh, you can kind of see how I organize and stay organized with all the lessons plans and all of that. So I'm going to turn you guys around so you can see my desk and how I have everything set up. Okay, so here's our little homeschool buddy, one of the two dogs, Noah. Here's our desk here. And this is here in our living room. Uh, this is the only place we have it. Oh, looks like my boys lost a balloon up there. Anyways, right up here I have um, our paper cutter. And this is my portfolio and lesson planner from last year. I just have it up out of the way for now because everything else is kind of like in use and current. So up here I have... Um, books that we're currently using, you can see each of my boys has their own folder. The oldest one took out his piece of paper with his name on it to draw all over it and it never got back in there. So underneath that, my two older boys have their Bible and their Bible journal. And also they have their shared textbooks that the two of them use together. Um, up here we have, you can't really see it, it's a little bit dark, but this is our Pimsleur Spanish um, Part 1. Uh, there's a five parts, and each part has like 16 CDs. Here, the, the older two boys have some textbooks that they're working on, some books that they're reading through. Then we have their folders, which contains all of their subjects. I've already gone through their folders. If you're interested in that, I'll have the link down below. Then coming over here, we have the books that are um, for my two little ones. They are in the same grade, so they pretty much share. We have all four of their art books, which is just a book that they can doodle in and whatnot. And then we have some group work books that we all use together, and I usually read these to the boys. Over here, this is like my little section here. It has my coloring book that I just didn't have anywhere to put it, um, a couple books that I'm reading, my uh, spiral notebook that I'm using for like cursive practice, and a Bible that I use uh, when we're reading during school and a book that I'm reading aloud to the boys. So I'm reading this series aloud to them and then I think we're on like book five of the series so far. We started it last school year. Up here I have a couple more like reference books and these are like the source dictionaries and whatnot. Here I have a study Bible. This is my study Bible. Um, and it's an inductive study Bible. So I keep that up there so I can have it handy for me. Up here I have a couple of extra like reading books and my boys um, a devotional book and on the very top you can hardly see it I'm sorry it's a little dark I have another Bible this is my women's Bible the reason I have all these Bibles up here that are mine is that they're all different um, translations like this is a New King James and it's a women's like devotional Bible and it also has like study notes and stuff this is my NASB, and that's the Inductive Study Bible, and this is my NIV, and it's just plain Bible, no extra notes. Anyways, coming along here, we have this piece of paper highlighted with the cursive and print alphabet, and behind that, we have a laminated multiplication um, chart. On the front here, they can write with a dry erase, and on the back here, it has all the answers so that they can quiz each other or I can quiz them. Right next to that here we have uh, a recorder that the boys can use. In this basket here I keep flashcards for my little ones. Let's bring this down here. Here you can see we have these um, flashcards here. There's a bunch of them with different animals and fun facts. And then we have kindergarten and first grade sight words for my two little ones. I got these from the Dollar Tree and they were longer strips but I just cut them down and then put an index card in front to label it. I got all of these last year um, from the Dollar Tree when I was shopping for like school stuff. We were just starting homeschool and we, we really didn't have anything. So behind that we have some phonics so they can learn their blends. They were practicing that last year. They really know it well now so sometimes it's just for review. Again here the basic phonics and sounds and then we have some numbers and counting, addition, subtraction, 
um, some more subtraction, just a different picture. Um, here we have some more subtraction. We have money, which actually they need to be using this now because they're learning how to count money. And then back here we have multiplication and division. And for the sight words, I believe I have it all the way up to like third grade. So I have the extra ones just back in a storage room because we don't need them yet. They're only in first grade this year. So beside this basket, I have a smaller basket here. Please excuse the slurping sounds you hear. I am terribly sorry. That is my dog who wants to be the center of attention. In this basket, we keep stickers and um, some extra index cards that may have been written on for book uh, markers uh, so that they can hold their pages. Um, just different things they get from like the library or events we go to. They can use these as bookmarks and then um, scrap papers so that they can draw on or color their own bookmark and if they do a beautiful artwork I can laminate it and have it be an official bookmark. Stickers for my younger two because that's how I check their work is when they're done with uh, a worksheet I give them a sticker for their hard work and completion so that's what's here. I um, have tons of these star stickers from the Dollar Tree so that's what's in this one. Right next to that I have this old um, juice container with big beads and it looks like there was a die in there. They use these for their counting, um, their math practice last year and sometimes they still use it but now they pretty much know it. Um, to, they know it well enough to not need to use the actual um, beads. So coming down, here we have a large chart which is mostly hidden. Um, my father-in-law bought me this chart and it's double-sided. It, I think it's double-sided. Yeah, it is double-sided. Um, he thought I could use this. I saw this in the Dollar Tree, so um, I went ahead and pasted it up there. And I do sometimes look at it, though, when I'm proofreading my older boy's work. I don't really follow the rules of proofreading. I just kind of, like, write over their work. So it's just simple and easy. They don't need to know symbols. Um, anyways, here I keep, these are all library books right here. And these are for our schoolwork that we're learning. Uh, we mostly use library books for like our history. Uh, right now we're learning about ancient Rome, so almost all of these are about something to do with ancient Rome. Their, their myths and their history and their arts and all of that. Here I have my two youngest boys Bibles easy so that they can reach it. These are their actual NIV Bibles and this is their old picture Bible which they can still use and they still do. And here I had this somewhere else which I'll show you in a second but I had to pull it out and I just keep it here. It's tons of coloring books, coloring pages, some um, word puzzle books, and a couple of like kind of game related games and these are puzzles. One of them is of a bald eagle which I thought would be really fun to do when we're studying American history and this one is a puzzle of the United States of America. Again, thought it would be fun to do uh, during school when we're learning about that stuff. And here I have a couple of card games for my little ones. Go Fish, Noah's Ark, and Bible Trivia. We like this one. The Bible Trivia is pretty fun. Next to that I keep my tape dispenser and our sharpener. I bought this for I think $30 on Amazon. I will do my best to post the link below so that you can see exactly which one we have. It runs on either batteries or plug-in and we keep it plugged in and you have three options to how sharp you want your pencil to get. Okay, coming over here on we used to have a computer here, but now I keep it empty and we store the computer folded up underneath there. And up here I keep some supplies. We have a crayon sharpener with crayons, colored pencils in this red box. Sorry, colored pencils out of place. Four boys, I'm always cleaning up after them. 
Um, behind that I have some permanent glue. I don't let the boys use that on their own, but I keep it close because they're always breaking toys and wanting me to rescue it. Here I have markers, thick markers, thin markers. Um, back here I just have some children's um, Christian music that uh, we had in the car, which we took out, so they're here for now. And behind that I keep a clear envelope of all of our library receipts so that I know when the books are due. Um, all four of my boys and I have our own library cards. All of their required school books go on my library card as well as my own personal reading books. And all of their personal reading books goes on their own library card. In front of the markers and crayons I have this um, semicircle uh, ruler and a clear ruler. This is because one of my boys is just getting into measuring angles and so he can learn to measure the angles with the two rulers. It looks like he may have dropped this as well because it looks kind of broken on the side. That's boys. He has literally only used this ruler for a week and he's managed to break it. I think it was only three dollars for the ruler and the protractor that comes with it. Speaking of protractor, that brings us over to this. Actually first um, we had the library receipts there. I keep this tiny calendar here and I put a big red circle with an L in it for every time we have library, do, library books due on a date. That way I can go and search which of our cards has library books due on that date. Obviously today is October 1st. I need to change this, which I will. Okay, over here, I have this um, kind of like Lazy Susan spinning thing, and I keep some school supplies in it. It doesn't really spin very well. I got it um, used from my mother-in-law, and it just is not uh, very easy to spin. So anyways, here I have some glue, some headsets. Um, I had four magnifying glasses. I don't know where the other one went. Here, I again, I had four small scissors. So I don't know where the other one went. Their protractor, along with some sh should be sharpened pencils. And then continuing uh, with the sharp uh, sh uh, scissors, I had four rulers. I have four boys, so I try to have supplies for each of them. I also used to have four timers. These I get from the Dollar Tree. Um, we don't need four, so two works fine. I think one of I think they both work okay. The other two kind of died out. We have some cheap glue sticks. These are my pen and pencil supplies and markers. So I have my mechanical pencils, um, a colorful pencil pen, my red marking pen, um, highlighter, and sharpies. These are my kind of supplies out of this whole thing. And then here we have another bottle of glue a large eraser. I mostly use this and sometimes the boys use this sharpener during school because I do not allow them to use the mechanical sharpener the I'm sorry the electric sharpener during school it just makes a loud noise and it's very distracting. Next to this I keep we had four one of them broke it we had four now we have three um, clipboard so that if they're sitting on the couch reading and they need to write something that they can do that and they don't always have to be at the table or desk even though that is pretty much where I require and really prefer them doing their work because that's where they're the most focused is when they're actually sitting at a table doing their work. On the side here I just have some um, Sticky notes. This I have like my daily planning routine in my bullet journal. This is my private planner, not my school planner. Um, then under that I have um, some websites that the boys use for some of their uh, subjects. So that's easy for them to remember what to type in when it's time to do those subjects. So now here you have the writing space of the desk. And under that you, I have the boys. This is my old laptop, which is now their laptop. And we have their laptop closed with the keyboard and the mouse pushed underneath. Um, the reason they have headphones, those blue headphones I shared, was because we don't have uh, speakers plugged in for them to use out here. So they use the headphones. Under here, I also have a three-hole punch. And then over here, I have, these are like all of my books. 
stuff that goes here are kind of like things that need to be dealt with and they're kind of like just in a holding place like this is like the holding place area so these are some Spanish tests that I have printed out that my boys need to do um, next week and under here is where I keep like my teacher manuals um, like their Spanish folder because I print out their Spanish tests and then store them in there their spelling test uh, folder because they, they do spelling tests online so it's only occasionally that they actually need to do it on the paper so then I also have our Tapestry of Grace which covers our history our Bible and church history and all of that and then on top here I have my teacher planner which I will share with you in a moment once I'm done with this desk tour okay so here in the drawers we have drawers Samson move and underneath we have um, these two shelf spaces okay so underneath is where I keep all of our excess paper and our construction paper and then under here is where I have our trash can and right behind my little doggy right there you can't see it is where I have our extension cord with everything plugged in and right behind that I have like that uh, golden bag full of like larger puzzles like more like adult puzzles that the boys can do whenever they want but honestly they're my puzzles and I just store them there because I have nowhere else to put them so now in the drawers let's start with the biggest one this is where I had all of those coloring books and games and puzzles for the boys sorry about that okay but now they were all here so we just got new curriculum and I'm so excited so those are stored there because we're going to be using them and behind this set that you see there's another set behind it of the curriculum that we did last year and finished and don't need right now or anytime soon and then this bottom shelf is kind of like our arts and crafts um, shelf I do keep this bug spray here because sometimes the boys go to play outside or if it's not too cold or oh, hot we open up the doors and sometimes mosquitoes get in mosquitoes live here like year round so we're in Florida so we always need that stuff here I have extra sorry it's not very bright here I have extra tape for the tape dispenser and then in that clear container I have index cards in this school container we have large sidewalk chalk and then next to it we have two palettes of water paint or watercolors so that the boys can paint and the paint brushes are sorry about that okay and the paint brushes are there on the side okay so I pulled out the bucket on top of it I have a plastic ziploc bag of supplies in case we ever take our work to the library it has um, scissors crayons um, mechanical pencils a highlighter anything that we may need for school on the go then here I have these large um, brown paper like brown paper bag type of paper that came in packing material so I kept it because this is great for art here I have an extra piece of plastic that was like from a tarp that's also great for like painting on the table and stuff and then in here I keep tons of craft supplies just anything that I had it's not much compared to many others but here's like a bag of feathers that one of my kids needed one week so you know we could use that again I paid for it and then it has a bunch of other things these are a bunch of clothesline pins that we can use to hang up art I have some paints some crafting glue some stamps and ink um, some nice cardstock paper to make cards these popsicle sticks that we use for um, garden plant names and all that's there so this is like our arts and crafts uh, section this is like my drawer they don't go in here this is where I have all of my files and I haven't been using this as much lately but this is like my tickler file system which I was using a lot at the end of last school year and now that we kind of just started getting back into school and back into our regular routine I may start using this again but it has one folder for every day of the month and then a um, one larger hanging folder for every month of the year and that's kind of like a big to-do system um, so we'll see if I pick that back up or not. And then I also have like projects, next actions folder, a reference and a homeschool folder where I put receipts and 
um, stuff like that. And here are a couple of extra folders and just extra things that I honestly don't have anywhere else to put. There are things in here for like the computer. Here's one of my Devo books and journal to go with it. And I'll look an extra uh, bug spray, my tiny scale and um, a CD case, which I was considering putting all of our homeschool DVDs in there for like different lessons and stuff. And just some things for the computer because my husband has to clean off their computer often. They somehow manage to get viruses on it just as quickly as he gets it cleaned, which is pretty quick. Okay, in this top drawer, again, this is my drawer. The boys don't usually go in here. In here I have paper clips, white out, um, these other little clips and kind of like a mixture of little things. Then I have some wet erase and dry erase markers. Uh, envelope opener or a paper cutter, a large sharpie, and a bone folder. I used to keep this in with my arts and crafts, but I was reaching for it a lot, so I just stuck it up here. I keep my chaps I keep a chapstick here because sometimes my lips are dry, especially from a lot of reading with the kids. Anyways, um, stapler, a tiny hole punch. It punches like a teeny tiny little hole. A staple remover. Another hole punch, uh, which is a regular hole, uh, a single hole. And then also some tiny little tabs here. Then over here I have a lighter because I like to keep a candle here, even though the one I had here ran out. And this I need to refill with some more rubber bands. Here I have all five of our library cards. You can see we each have our card. And even though my boys' cards are their own cards, because they're minors, they're children, and they lose things, and it would be on me to pay any fines. I'm the one that keeps the cards. I have the mini, the mini key ones, the keychain ones, on my keys, and these stay here. Underneath that, I keep some post-its, uh, post-it flags, and some extra staples. We keep the big box of staples in our office because my husband has a, a large stapler in there. Over here I keep floss because it never fails. If my husband's sitting out here, he needs floss and I just, we have floss like literally everywhere, so yeah. And then I have a large binder clip, um, some little page reinforcers, extra um, file tabs for my boys' dividers, a couple more uh, post-its. This is a quick reference card for me for when I'm checking my boys' writing work. And then here are a couple of um, label things that we had left over. Okay, so that is everything in the desk. Let me quickly go over my homeschool planner. I just printed everything out myself. I will post links for where I got this printout and the printout on the back so that you can go ahead and get those. They're a free printable. I don't remember the site, um, so I will have the link below. Okay, inside I keep a couple of stickers so that as my boys are doing their work, I can just go ahead and place it on there right away and I don't have to worry about going back later and checking their work because I sit down with my two younger ones to do their work every day. And then here I have a couple of lesson plans that I need to put actually into my planner. This was like um, preliminary planning. Behind that I kind of have like a to buy list for things that we need. Um, this was where I was going to buy uh, different things from their curriculum and how much approximately it would cost so I can get an idea and then some activities, maybe the zoo membership, things we wanted to do and approximately how much they would cost. This I accidentally printed out and it was extra but they won't need it until a while down the road so I just kept it um, and then I have extra paper here just for whatever. Here I keep my supply bag and in it I have um, scissors, different color highlighters, a calculator, my mechanical pencil and refill lead, and that's it, I believe. Yeah. Behind that, I have my boys' 2016-2017 curriculum. This was um, when I was first planning it, and it's for each child, the oldest one, the second one, and the two youngest ones. They're always together because they are in the same grade. 
I have three different grades and four children. This is where I'm officially going to put it because now it's finalized. I just need to go ahead and rewrite it. Behind here I have our 2016-17 school year at a glance printed out with my different um, color codes and weeks that we're going to take off. We're doing about five to six weeks on school and then one week off of school. So that way we get a break about every month and a half. And we also take any major holidays and birthdays. Here is our attendance for my four boys, one, two, three, and four. And I just have it my own color code again for, you know, how I mark their presence and their absences or whatnot. Again, these printouts, where I did this printable, I will, I don't remember if I made this myself. I believe I made this in um, my numbers uh, um, app, not app, but on my iPad, on my Mac, um, and I printed it out. If I still have it, I'll try to like make it a public link and put it below. This was a free printable. Again, links will be below. Behind that, I have a field trip log which I created myself and printed out. I just did this in numbers and created like a chart, an empty chart. Then I have our first uh, separator or divider. And here I have some suggested books for each grade level, some books that are kind of like on their grade level that they can read for their silent reading. I have that for first, fifth, and seventh grade. And I have a couple of extra blank sheets now we start our reading logs. They each have a reading log for our Tapestry of Grace curriculum, which covers our history, church history, fine arts, geography, and so forth. And these books are required school reading. And then they have their silent reading log, or whenever they read a book that this is books that they choose to read, that they enjoy reading. Uh, we prefer them to read at or above their grade level, but um, lately they've been reading maybe one grade less if they really enjoy like a series or something. So long as they're constantly reading. This is there and they each set a goal. And if they go above and beyond and meet a higher goal that they set, they will get a prize at the end of the school year from me and dad. Each one of the boys have those two reading logs. And then we continue on with the oldest one's plan. Here I just created a blank spread again and I put his uh, full name at the top, what week we're at, the dates of that week, and then I kind of just fill in the subjects and what we need to do. Let me show you that at the beginning. See here you can see I have their subjects in blue and then their assignments and they check it off with a pencil and as I check it I uh, go over it with a yellow highlighter to make sure that they did it. And it's the same exact thing for my second oldest. He's in the green tab. Uh, again, same exact printout. And then for my little ones, because I sit with them the entire time, I put the week, the date, Monday through Friday, and the subject on each side. I write out the first one's individual work, the little one's individual work, then all of our group work that we all do together as a family. Then I also started um, separating work that the two little ones do together. Like if I have to read them both the book, that way I can just do it one time with both of them and not once with him and once with him. It really saves me time just combining that and making them both listen at the same time. So this, again, this is just something I created on numbers and I printed out a bunch of them, enough for the year, and I saved it. So that is my teacher planner. Definitely check the link back here. The link's in the description box. Back here I have some answer keys uh, for math placement tests from the curriculum that we use. So I just save them so I don't have to always reprint them out when they, when they do a placement test. Alright, so that is our homeschool desk and my teacher planner. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for being patient during this video and bearing with me through the darkness um, inside the cupboards. And I'll leave any comments or questions you may have down below. I'm happy to answer. Um, if you're interested in any uh, grade level curriculum that I'm doing with each of them, stay tuned. I am recording and 
posting those videos throughout this month for each grade level, going over what curriculum I'm using with each of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye!